What is, what is going on, guys? Started the fourth quarter, and sadly, what is another blowout? All these big games in week one have been blowouts, but we go to the fourth quarter. It is Michigan 35, Virginia 7. One of the reasons to this blowout is running back Tiki Parver for the Cavs went down early in the first quarter. I think it was a knee injury, and he has been out for the rest of the game. So, really, with a star running back out, hopefully not for too long, because it sucked for Virginia to have this loss. They'd automatically just like have their season fall apart without him. Hopefully, he's not out forever. As Brian Owen with a big catch here to try to spark something up. They have completely derailed the rest of this game. Though they kept it close for a while. It was 14-7 at halftime, and it really just opened up in the third quarter. A couple turnovers, you know how it goes. But, yes, this is the good old Charles Woodson. He has an interception in this game. Got one early in the first quarter. Mike Groth, who is a... Eh, Kind of had an all right game. Sadly, here for the fans at Scott Stadium, it's not been a performance to be excited about. But I'm going to try to see if I can be old number two for the rest of this one. Maybe get one more pick. As Mike Cromwell with the tip. And Michigan's offense has just been electric. I think the Wolverines are definitely... A contender in the Big Ten, if not nationally. Got Brian Greasy as quarterback. Just a few years away from the Tom Brady era. As I'm not even sure what the hell that was. That was just a complete lob to the, his mom. In the, anywho, going forward on fourth and sixth. They are in plus territory, so I don't blame them there. And quick screen out. Nothing going there. Demetrius Allen hit. Kind of a stupid play. To, why would you call a screen on fourth and six? But that's kind of the game Virginia's been throwing at right now. Anywho, Michigan's offense has been firing on all cylinders. They got wide receiver Monty Toomer and Brian Greasy, and they got a running back whose name I cannot pronounce at all. So I'm not even going to even try it. Robinson. Harris, NCAA Red Raiders, along with NCAA Tar Heels, do a little side-to-side -side commentary with me. Do you, can you even, like, get, like, any idea of what this guy, my running back's name is? That's, that's too many letters for me. Tishamaga by, I'm not eating, no. Tishamaga by Whatever the hell his name is. He's got 128 yards. I think he had a touchdown. I couldn't read it there. He's been going off today. <laughs> Bam. Got my tied in off of the middle there. I'll probably just see if I can flip this on conservative mode. Hopefully, the, this is a 14-15 matchup. Michigan's ranked number 14, Virginia 15th. And obviously, with Tiki Barber out there, not a top 15 team. Hopefully, they get them back because I need somebody to compete with Florida State and the ACC. I don't want to see the Seminoles run through the ACC like they normally do, at least especially in the early 90s. And actually, in realistic 1995 season, Virginia was the first team to... Oh, shit. Virginia was the first team to beat Florida State in conference play, so hopefully it happens again. But, damn, they've been given number 21 the ball a lot today. 33 carries, 127 yards. Let's see if I can get my boy Imani Toomer. I don't know, he's manned up. Man doesn't usually work on a curl flat. Oh, it was his own Tuma! Let's go. Tumor, oh my god. Amani Tumor has 151 yards of receiving and four touchdowns. Hashtag Heisman, hashtag MVP, hashtag ballin'. Holy shit. I'm sorry, I haven't even watched this game today. 
I haven't really watched any. I didn't play too much in this one. So I have no idea what's going on. All I know is Michigan is blowing out Virginia. They lost Tiki Barber. And Amani Toomer balled the fuck out. Let's see if I can give Toomer one more. Make it five. I don't know about that one. He's, he's manned up pretty good. But I do got my tight end stretched out. Touchdown. That's Greasy's fifth touchdown. His first one that's not going to Amani Toomer. He does got two interceptions, which, you know, five touchdowns. That's, that's not too bad. Kick is through, and it is a 42-7 to game. So I'm sorry, guys. I have two videos here today and two blowouts. This one's worse than the Miami-Florida game I did. Hell, even Florida put up more of a fight than Virginia is right now. At least their defense put up more of a fight. But with the performance Michigan is having today, I mean, it's mostly been on offense. You can't even throw the Tiki Barber thing in there, given the fact that Monty Toomer has four touchdowns alone. This has just been a dominant performance here today by the Wolves. Nonetheless, so that really makes some contenders. What do you think, Tar Heels and Raiders? What the hell is that? Is Ohio State... Can Ohio State beat Michigan? That rivalry is going to be hella good now. Charles Woodson versus Eddie George. Oh, come on, Woodson, come on. Ah! Damn it, I hate getting off blocks in this game. What the fuck? Damn it, stick. I would have blasted his ass. I don't know why my stick went to the left there. Nonetheless, I don't think uh, nothing's really going to change the outcome in this game. I'm going to try to see if I can pump up Woodson's stats. I want to see if I can get him another pick. But he's not throwing my way. Oh, man. Right when I said that. Right when I said that. Uh I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing to let you let the Cavalier fans out here at least see Virginia get one touchdown. But I'd rather see Charles Woodson get a pick six. A wide open up the middle. Damn. Nonetheless, Mike Grove just hit 300 yards passing. He doesn't have any inter no touchdowns though. Three interceptions, 0 for 3. Let's see if I can get the dunk here. Oh, he swung past me. Oh, shooting up the middle. What the hell's going on with my middle D? That was first and goal. The middle of my defense is trash right now. Well, and it's not like I'm running a dime, which I'm doing now, which I back out because I just realized it's first and goal. And walks it in. Oh, now Kevin Brooks, the backup running back. He also used another guy, number 34. And I have no idea what she's coming back in now. Let's see if I can figure out his name. Madly. He's been getting most of the carries today. It's between him and Brooks. And tipped up and complete there. Let's see if we can hold him to a field goal, which I would imagine they would go for it. If it does go to fourth and goal. 
Alrighty, offset I formation. Looks like they're going to pound it down the Madley. Nope, it is going to be a pass. L. Charles Woodson almost had the pick. Oh, man. Diving in, bats it away. Fourth and goal. Let's see if we can get the stop. Ooh, this is good. Ooh. Never thought I'd say that, even though the score is 42 7. This is straight up I formation. Looks like they're going to run it down the middle. Oh, he hopped over me. Fuck. Uh, Darrell Madley hops over me into the end zone. 42-13. Two or field goal? Do you want to do a leap? An actually play 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 Oh, damn, I didn't realize they were going to kick an onside. Eh, fuck it. Rob Sweet with the pickup there. And that should just about do it, unless, of course, Virginia is going to be dicks and call timeouts. Try to make this a little longer. But I don't think so. They're down 42-14. I think they're just going to take the L. They'll bounce back. I think they take on William and Mary in their next game, so they should be able to bounce back. Hopefully Tiki Barber is at least back before conference play. But obviously, the MVP has to go to the GOAT of this game. Monty Toomer, four touchdowns. I don't even think you have to give the credit to Greasy there. If a wide receiver's got four touchdowns in one game, it's either his defender's just been trash as number 21 turn it up, bouncing out to the outside for 18 yards. He's got 150. Oh, it's just been a palooza of yardage here today. I'm even going to try to take it slow. I don't want to try to score one more. But Virginia's not really giving me any help here stopping me. Bouncing it out again off the counter for seven. But conference play should definitely be really good. You're going to have to see a good Michigan-Penn State battle, a good Michigan-Ohio State battle. Of course, Wisconsin. Never have to count out Wisconsin. Purdue. Purdue is going to be an up-and-down kind of team throughout the 90s, early 2000s. Oh, what a hit right there for the first down. Ed Davis. Michigan State, they'll have probably a few say-sos. They'll probably be in the conference tournament. That should just about do it for the conference tournament, though. X Jones. I don't know why they X'd out his name, but I guess he'll be named X Jones for now on leading the defense there with 13 tackles. And for the ACC... Don't want to admit it because I hate Florida State with every fiber of my being, but they're probably going to ravage through the ACC. I just really don't see any team that will step up, especially Virginia without Tiki Barber. That's just going to be a blowout waiting to happen. Clemson might do something. NC State might do something. UNC will probably make up the tournament there for that conference, but I just see Florida State just ravaging through everybody. And as the final countdown begins to tick here, I'll have one more run, and hopefully that will end it. Oh, I forgot I had motion. That'll stop it. Alrighty, so third and 14. Why not have one last heave? One last heave to end the game here. I know what. Fuck it. Let's see if we can try to get five for a money tumor. I've intercepted. Two seconds to go. Fuck me. One second. Damn it. Oh, we'll see what Virginia does. Sorry to stretch out the game. I was trying to get a money tumor. He couldn't get the dunk. Oh, that is spread it out, but I think they're just going to run it. Yeah.
And that is the final. The clock has struck. Final Michigan 42, Virginia 14. Michigan bumps up to 1 0. Virginia will fall to 0 and 1. And a hell of a game from Monty Toomer again, MVP. And a very, very dangerous Michigan team. I think a Michigan team is probably going to bump up a good bit in the standings after this one. Probably should be in the top ten. Hopefully Virginia will rebound against William and Mary. I don't know who the Wolverines have in their second game, but probably an FCS beatable team. And here's some of the highlights from today's action. This has been an FBGM Productions. I'm NCAA Hurricanes, along with NCAA Red Raiders and NCAA Tar Heels from NCAA Advanced. Hell of a game. Thank you for watching this blowout. Try to make it fun as possible. My next game will be my second Miami game of week one. I take on Pacific at home. I'm not going to give any promises. That should be a, a good game. That'll probably be another blowout. And then, of course, the next part of the Game of the Week special, Oregon going to Salt Lake to take on Utah. So, might have our hopes up to have at least one pretty good game here. Nonetheless, once again, thanks for watching. Final 42-14 Michigan.